Hey, Freak Show. Thanks for coming back to another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about the broken A guns that are inside of this of this game. All right? Modern Warfare has introduced new weapons in Season 6, and they have some very terrible, terrible things going on with them. Let's get in the video. Hey guys, thanks for clicking on the video. Think about hitting the like, think about hitting the subscribe button for me. I really appreciate it. The Season 6 weapons that Modern Warfare has introduced have got some major, major broken components. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you the most broken loadout in Warzone. You're definitely going to get some interesting death chat. People are going to spectate you. People are going to think you're cheating. He's cheating like f But you will never die to another rooftop Randy in downtown or another camping Carl inside of a house. All you have to do is run the AS Val with the 10 round mags and throw on restock with snapshot grenades and go have fun. The way I have mine set up is the VLK barrel, the Corp Combat hollow sight with the blue dot, the VLK stock, Merc foregrip, and the 10 round mags. I think you can get pretty creative with the build as long as you're rocking the 10 round mags in the longest barrel. Okay, now we got B Harp here talking about the AS Val, and I'll talk about that in just a second, but I really loved his content here. So think about going over to TikTok, hitting him a follow. I'm pretty sure he's on Twitch. Go over there, say what's up to him. Anyway, what I'm going to talk about right now uh, is the SPR 203 because it is a less, a less broken gun than the AS Val. But in all honesty, I understand the premise of introducing new content that may give a competitive edge or be enticing to a player in order for you to stay around for the game. So as a development team, I can understand where you put in new content, you want people to play that content or or enjoy that content. So you're going to maybe turn, turn the specs up just a little bit. We're going to give it a little bit more damage than the previous gun. We're going to give it a little bit more accuracy than the previous gun in order for you to have a little bit of a competitive edge and, and, and feel more powerful and not have the mundane consistency that you've been playing with for like the last five, six weeks. So on that premise, I can understand them being able to do that or, or, or introducing a new weapon and then giving you an enticing factor for it. Now on the flip side of this, these two guns break the game, right? So in the, in the, invent, in the endeavor to try and actually produce something that would be more fun or more enticing for their players, they have actually gone the opposite direction and made it too OP in which they've broken and absolutely corrupted uh, the audience that they have, uh, they have tried to, to amass together. So we can see there's no no bullet holes <laughs> and then I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> it goes through it <laughs> oh this this season six amazing <laughs> now don't get me wrong. We have seen this time and time again in which we have uh, some sort of aspect of the game that has broken the game. Um, and may, it may not actually be a new weapon coming in, but something gets found, a.k.a. like uh, uh, snake shots, right? So snake shots were around for a really long time. People were asking people to get rid of them uh, because any time that you were in a house trying to uh, secure your location, if someone came into the house with snake shots, it was two shots in there and the person was absolutely destroyed. Um, and that needed to be nerfed in order the, for everybody to have a more pleasant time uh, playing Warzone. And it was just people coming, rushing in with snake shots, being able to two-shot everybody, take off the armor, and then kill the person with a second shot. It made the game very un unfun, but not very fair, right? And then then we had the problem with the, the growl. The growl was basically substituted for sniper rifles, in which we had an assault rifle being able to shoot across the map. Now, while that was a frustrating endeavor for a lot of people that you could be shot from so far away without having to use uh, much accuracy, um, you'd be able to just you know, get toward the area and then spray a whole bunch of bullets and then people would lose armor really, really quickly. While that was a problem, it wasn't as bad as, say, the Bruin. The Bruin had a very big problem. Uh, the recurring uh, scenario here is that we have something break in the game or something that seems to have a competitive advantage that doesn't get fixed for a very, very long time. And so when, you, when we talk about having a meta, right, that meta is forcing everybody to have to play in a certain dimension, right? You have to run an LMG uh, 
uh, Bruin in order to be, be be competitive, or you have to run the Growl in order for you to actually be pretty decent. Uh, and f- you know, and forcing people into a niche when they might not want to do that. They might want to snipe. They might want to use an SMG, uh, you know, X Y Z or a shotgun or something like that. But moving on, then we had Origin Ground Loot, and that Origin Ground Loot was absolutely OP over anything else that you could pick up off the ground. And then we had the Fire Shotgun. You know, as people saw that, they saw the Fire Shotgun go up. Uh, And then we have a little bit of a thing with a slug round for uh, shotguns. So if you put a slug round on a shotgun, I haven't seen that too prevalent, but apparently if you put slug rounds on your shotgun right now, it will do a lot of damage, or it can shoot people one shot from very, very far away. Um, But like I said... What we're getting at is the fact that each one of these scenarios has taken weeks or months for them to actually be able to uh, correct that in any in any sort of the the venture. Now there is a tweet out by a community uh, Call of Duty community manager saying that they have a a uh, a update coming or an update in place that will be coming out eventually for the SPR two hundred three and the AS Val, but how long will that take? I believe that they were looking at the Bruin and they were looking at uh, snake shots for a very, very, very long time and they didn't do anything for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. So with that being said, I think you guys should jump in, get the AS Val, get the 10 round mags, run around with your snapshots and restock on and go to town on every single person that's trying to play the game in a sensible manner, AKA being able to see your enemy and shoot your enemy. Why not just go ahead and shoot them through the walls with two shots and, and get a kill. He's right here behind the dumpster on the other side of shipment. We're going to shoot through all of these crates. So I'm going to throw my snapshot grenade so I know where he's at. He's right here. Two shots. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Um, I'm going to be all the way over here behind the wall, behind even the Jeep. So we're going to be shooting through this wall, this car, this car, this wall, the Jeep. We're going to be all the way back here. There it is. Let me know what you guys think. Is this a problem? It's literally one of the most broken aspects of, of anything that I've ever seen. I have ever seen. Uh, the link's down in the description below for all of the creators that I have uh, I have used in this to be able to talk over and just get some gameplay. I don't have the AS Val yet just due to the fact that I haven't been grinding as much as these fellow fellow creators. And so props to them for... for all of that they've done, um, giving a little more a definitive approach to what I'm talking about, about being able to shoot all the way through all of the building or all of the different stuff on the map to be able to kill people from far away. Um, it, it's just, it's completely broken. It's completely broken. Tell me what your thoughts are down below in the comments. Do you think this is a good thing? Do you think this is a bad thing? I honestly believe that this just breaks the game uh, and is really, really stupid. So I'm really happy that Cold War's coming out. I've got the beta coming up this weekend for PS4 pre-orders along with PS4 Open. And then next week we'll be able to play with everybody as far as xbox pc ps4 all of them all the way around but i i've got to have something to tie me over until november 12th or november 13th um so i'm really hoping that this doesn't break the game too much i don't want to be shot through with the as valve from anywhere on the map it's going to feel like cheating hacking blah 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 blah, blah. um but if i keep get, keep getting shot with snapshots i will continue to not play this game <laughs> anyway It's just so broken. It's absolutely so broken. Um, And that's all I can really say about it. I hope you had a wonderful day. That's the end of the video. My little rant on saying this is is really dumb and it's probably not going to be fixed for a really long time. Um, Yeah, I'm stunned. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Anyway. Enjoy your freaking days. If you want to come watch me play or come interact with the community, I stream on Twitch every single every single day from 6:30 p.m. I don't know why I was about to say single every single Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Why was I going to say that? Anyway, every single day from 6:30 p.m. till 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. Would love for you guys to come check out the channel. Other than that, I'm out of here. Enjoy your freaking days. I'll see you in the next video. Deuces.